just a quick video to show environmental sound design um, using FMOD Studio. I recently played Amnesia Machine for Pigs and I really like the industrial steam powered sound of the game and as the player progresses the game delves right into the heart of this huge machine and the sounds are really interesting. Um, for this short video I've tried to recreate a similar environment with a similar kind of feel. Um, all the samples were from a couple of websites which I'll put in the description and uh, the clips are all mixed and edited in Pro Tools 11. The first sound um, that I've created is a 2D sound, so it can be heard regardless of the player's position in the environment. Um, it's just a kind of distant machinery sound, using a couple of different samples with a low pass filter and some reverb to kind of create that sound of distance from the player. The machinery that's a lot closer to the player and is three-dimensional in the environment are the pistons. I try to capture the kind of rhythmic kinetic feel of the pistons and um, with this loop that I created from some of the samples. There's also this saw machine which uses granular playback for a kind of random playback of the sound. And um, it was used it's using a bone saw sample, which is very interesting, thought it sounded quite cool. Next up we've got steam, which is obviously a big part of the Machine for Pigs kind of Victorian, old school, steam powered kind of environment. So the steam uses a granular playback as well, so it plays back at kind of random intervals within the set time. The playback behaviour and I've got the sound randomised, so there's some attenuation and pitch variables during the playback. The other sound I've included here is a drip, which uses two voices or two instances of the sound in the granular playback for a more um, kind of sporadic, natural sounding. It's also got attenuation and pitch variables programmed in there as well. If we have a look at the event player that comes with FMOD Studio here, we can see how these sounds would work in the environment as audio emitters. So we've got some distant machinery which will play back the same regardless of the player's position. And then if we add some steam, Drips. There's some machine pistons. These. Then get the character now to move through the environment. You just get closer to the pistons there. Further away. And you can move with the direction the character is facing, just move back through. Pretty much it. Thanks for watching.